was really concerned of how to make our stuff not only stand out in this course of this class, but also in public. If it actually goes into the real competitive world, you know, without stuff, stand out as much. So basically, how do we advertise it? We were really concerned of uh, relating the physical things with the digital world. So we're at, um, we have two proposals, which one is a gift bag and a gift box. And I'll go on the second one later. So first, why do we use the gift box per se? I think like it's really, really is different from, you know, from a poster or brochure. If you go out and someone handed you a brochure like every day when we go out to a mall or something, there will always people handing out your brochure or pamphlet. Like, I'm that person that I don't really care. Like, I just throw it away because it's not really interesting to me. So I think if we kind of turn it into like a small gift box that's really budget friendly, because these things are not really expensive, I think it's more eye-catching and it would grab people's attention quite more. This is one of the design layout we were thinking. So basically a classic box, so you can see with the lid. The second one that is more like something I personally like more, because this one is also cheaper, and I think it looks better and cuter, is uh, this sort of gift set box. So basically it's a kind of hard paper, and we could also design the paper texture, so we could put the hospital logo in it, or even attach like a hospital sticker on top of the gift set. These are more about, you know, like, we're thinking of the end result of how we should do it. But our color scheme would always stay in these color scheme. You know, we want to focus on being like to make it health related, to make it hospital related, and we want it to be friendly. So some bright colors would help with that. And in the gift set, so what's in the gift box? You know, what do you get when people open it? Well, it's not going to be just an like empty gift. Yes, of course, if you were thinking anything health related. So for the foreign people, you might not get, you're not used to this, but in Thailand, things such as aromatic inhaler and, you know, uh, chewing vitamin C or even the Thai bok is very popular for Thai people. It's sort of health related, I mean, it is health related, and, you know, they're all small and they're all cheap. So I think if we have this in it, along with the Along with, along with a small paper card with the printed QR code that um, directly merge the physical world and the digital world together it would be great. This is not the final design. We're going to design something much better, but it would always be something like this. So a small adopter card with a QR code printed on it. So that's our first sort of proposal. Uh, next, we're in the class math and play that. So, when you have. Uh, so, yeah, we are proposing the class math play math to uh, be used in the cafeteria of the hospital so that people, when they eat, they spend time looking around and look at the class and play math. So, we actually print out an example for it. So this is how it's going to look like. And you can scan the QR code to find more about ACL surgery. Uh, so how do we promote this? Well, basically we focus on four really main things. So it's utility, is it convenient, is it eye-catching, and is it cheap for our client? So for the lunch tray, is it um, is utility that it's good for like long-term usage if you pick it out in like a real like bricks and plastic thing? And it's very useful when you're listening to people using things in the hospital. For the gift set, of course, it's 
functional because of the items that I inserted in. And, uh, and is it convenient, the lunch tray? Well, I think the lunch tray is a really smart way of promoting because people are automatically like forced to use it. If they go to the dining hall or the cafeteria, it would be available to them. So we're not really selling it as a like a brand thing, but it's kind of like a hidden kind of promotion because people are forced to use it. And for the gift box, I think it's convenient because we're not gonna make a huge box where you know people can't hold it. It's gonna be practical in size and weight. Yeah. So um, at Caching, both of our designs are we are very concerned about you know the important design elements, so the color scheme, the package design, the graphic illustration is something my team were really concerned about and we Oh, for she, uh, a good one that is appropriate. And for the budget friendly wise, lunch tray, I think it's not, it's of course not going to be the most cheapest thing if you actually print it out or like, you know, order a lunch tray. But I think it's good for long term investments because these things stay for years. And the gift box, it's realistic in price and it's very cheap and affordable. So I think it's both all two items sort of say in the right there. So thank you. Thank you. Closey, is that your group too? Closey, um, is that one your group? The material. Your group? You might want to turn the light on and demonstrate to the team. So this was one of the <coughs> So this was uh, actually our printed lunch tray. The material that we we're using, we're still debating of what material we were thinking. Originally, we were actually going to order it into like a plastic tray for everyone, but it was very time consuming. We can do it, but I'll pass this around for everybody so you could kind of see the design. How it works? You might want to oh, demonstrate sure. in front. So, any member in your group can assist you. I think I need to ask my technical. Yes, yeah, some of your group. Yeah. 